We're here on Wyckoff Avenue in Bushwick and we're going to try to run into this place. See a show that's curated by this lady, Sarah Schmerler. Jason hey, Andrew, the how are proprietor you? of Northern Moore. I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Well, I'm going to come in here and take a quick run through. Yes. Of the show. Guilty slash not guilty. Fern's here. Come on, Fern. I'll introduce you to our curator. Uh, that wouldn't be the world famous Sarah Schmerler. Eating broccoli. Bon vivant. Would you like some great would you like some Chinese food? Thank you, but I'll pass. Sure. Although I might ask for a little, if it's not too much, a little uh, interpretation, maybe guide about some of the work that you selected for guilty, not guilty. Why don't we start over here with Ellen Lesher's pieces? <laughs> Ellen Lesher uses paint as though it were rubber cement. She's right. lathering it onto the back. So you know what, Lauren, what people may not know about Ellen, and it's a really kind of a golden sash. There's nothing wasted. There's I know, wasted. these are actually, the kind of the rectangles of color are the this painted on the back of the photographs, and then she flips them over and sticks them down with the paint. The green, yep, ripped off. So it's all kind of uh, pulled off and mirror image and bam. reversals. And so you've got this memory. This right. fenestration, okay. Memory of that, and I think it's a real, you know, I think it's a real it's kind of screw you to paint, but it really, but they're still beautiful, right? Screw, it's a, screw you to paint? I don't think paint, so. But a, I think but that's a, a very, you to very, composition. a very appropriate use of paint. Paint does a lot of great things. Paint does a lot of. Great How about things. some of these uh, figurative pieces here? Um, Francesco Maschi, who uh, came straight from a New Year's Eve party in Hecatsla, um, obviously likes the Renaissance, and he's doing here's uh, Odalisque after Velasquez. This is David and Goliath after Caravaggio. This is and then he puts kind of a surrealistic uh, spin on it. Yeah, you really got Actually, he did rip a lot of Dali's compositions for this piece, even though I think it's an actual. It was based on Masaccio, or I can't remember if it's Montaigne or Masaccio. I have to look at my checklist. But uh, hand yeah. is getting uh, crucified. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you know your art history probably a lot better than I do, uh, Lauren. This so. is Pablo Toller. Yes. And these are. Ink on paper. It's all ballpoint pen. Oh, ball thousands, point. thousands of, of marks of ballpoint pen. Yeah, these are nice. They have a real uh, kind of abstract formalist quality. But then he's got a little eccentric figurative piece here. Um, Pablo is born in Chile but grew up in suburban Maryland. He had to come over here as a teenager and he had a really hard time. Uh, and a lot of these figurative ones are his memories as a child that he's revisited. The style is, a lot of it's really kind of about memory and nostalgia. And who is this? This is a real find, you heard it here first, Alfred Steiner. Alfred Steiner. He's a copyright lawyer by day. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. More than uh oh. He's the guy you want on your dodgeball team because he'll he'll be able to tell you uh, just what the law is. And um, he obviously is also doing a similar thing with art history. That French, you know, someone like Art Francesco, but very Art Moldo like in that he's you know making these forms. So that saint and well, tormented by demons. And something tells me that uh, he's also had some classical uh, academic training in uh, oh, yeah. painting and drawing. He's got the chops, man. He's got the chops. You like the little nose coming up from the bottom there? Okay, I like his uh, donut mouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kali Chakra, that's a nice, that's just worthy of a lot of relaxed viewing. It's the same dude who did the ones to your left. Oh. It's Alfred Steiner's book. So Alfred Steiner bought the Sholnik. Got the Lisa Sholnik. He bought it for the gallery. And then had this 
three dimensional. Is that a print or is that three D print? And had this monochromatic version of it made by a computer process. Okay, that's interesting. Do we have a title for this piece? Erased Okay, so basically we just sort of sucked all the color out of it. I know I was talking to him and he felt like uh, this sort of transgressed the whole idea of expressionism and uh, all those things that only a human hand could get, especially when you start getting into thick and gooby paint. So happy but, did yeah, <laughs> the computer can do it. Tell us about the title, Sarah. Oh. Guilty slash not guilty? When you take the U out of the word guilt, you're yes. left with something that is uh, the surface of gold. It's not, it's not gold all the way through, mind you. But I'm a writer, so I like to play, uh, I like to play word games and letter games. And um, when you put a stripe through the U, you have the surface of gold on top of something and there's a whole tradition in art of gilding, gilding the lily and, and as a curator I don't know that I really need to make an apology at the age of 47 for choosing this or that. I've come across a whole lot of um, interesting work I've been really fortunate and sometimes you find people floating to the surface like bits of cork and you say these people deserve to be shown and so I'm guilty as charged of making some pretty uh, instinctive choices. You know Hudson a feature. Sure. He inspired me a lot. His uh, recent press releases have really been written from the gut. They've been basically saying, I doused this work. I instinctively wanted to use it. And when you're Hudson, that's not nothing. You know, if you're some 25 year old saying, I feel like showing this, it wouldn't mean anything. But when Hudson says, this is work I feel strongly about, not even strongly that, that, that he kind of found it as if by dousing rather than by a top down hierarchical uh, putting everybody in their proper compartment and making a show that makes sense and compartmentalized. I think he said, you know, there's a lot of stuff that instinct, there's a role that instinct plays in curating, and I think so. And I'm, just, I'm trying to embrace the instinct I have after doing a whole lot of thinking in front of my computer as a critic. You go, you know, you have instinct, and, and you have to do things because you, you feel them. Okay, where can we see your writing? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a nice Time Out New York? Time Out New York, uh, Art, Art in America. America. Uh, I think I have a piece in Art News on the Mark Lombardi film, a marvelous Mark Lombardi documentary that hasn't broken yet. Uh, oh, that sounds good. Art News. But most, uh, mostly, you know what I like? I like my interview with Fred Valentine of uh, Valentine Gallery. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Congratulations. Lauren, you rock, and congratulations <laughs> on your being part of the Academy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Sin, sin you. Okay. Sin Sinew Encounters. And this is Sarah's explanation. It's been a rough cut run through of Guilty Not Guilty, created by Sarah Schmerler here at Norte Mar. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> and thank you, Kate. Thank you. Beautiful.